either with Kyle TZ or Ogwen will go to another part of the map, usually across in the other side lanes, to force a play there. So with the mid laner Julian, Brent Esports actually like to spread out the map and their focus. Let's see if that's how they're going to be playing it in this game. Well, let's see on how will Omega bounce back because it's game number two against Bren Esports. I love that you've thought about Few becoming the Fuse of the circuit board of Bren Esports right now against Omega. I like that. If you think about it, it looks still looks like a four protect one here for Bren, right? Yeah. Everyone's like really geared up to protect the claw in the later stages of the game. Mm -hmm. So Omega will have to kind of really pick it up with Ryzen's aim on pick. Yeah. By the way, weakness finder there for Kelra, so gonna be prioritizing more of the slows. Yes. Uh, usual build path for the Melissa is uh, Wind Talker Berserkers or Scarlet Berserkers, but Wind Talker is becoming the popular first item because of that extra damage you can deal with the minions. Yeah, yeah. it's splash damage onto the basic of the, yeah, yeah. of the Melissa. Honestly, well, in any pick, I like the activatable items you buy it first because you get more value out of it and yeah. it cools down more throughout the game. But again, you can't do that all the time. And I think, yeah, Wind Talker is a very, very good pick against a very squishy Melissa. Yeah. Well, right now we're seeing still a systematic approach for Omega. Well, it seems like they're focusing on just the objectives because in the mid lane, there's a lot of Omegas putting attention to few here, as we have talked about earlier. Yep. Yeah, Kyle TZ again on the Julian. Good track record. Although I would not have been surprised to see, uh, you know, few on it. But again, will not be yeah. blessed with that today. Mm -hmm. Yeah, I just realized I have to correct myself. I made a great point earlier about uh, Fuse, Fuse. Uh, Julian, but yeah. it's Cal Teasy <laughs> playing the Julian. Yeah. So it's a sw I got swerved by Brent Esports. The last pick with the last pick. Yeah, it's right. okay. I, it's I, okay, man. I got I got swerved there. <laughs> got to talk to Paolo Expert later. You swerved me, bro. Happens all the time. <laughs> Happens all the time here for yes. Brent Esports. Yes. Now it's gonna be Omega with a head up onto the turtle. There goes the real world manipulation. Reset on the turtle means it's gonna be a more Extended team fight Pandora is actually quite low. Forced to flicker out. Whoa. There goes the old man Ryzen. Takes out Pandora for first blood. Now it's all about the distance that Ogwen can create. Will he be able to catch? But who's gonna get a oh, turtle? It's gonna be Kyle. Kyle. Easy. And, and he got the full three. team fatal links. DPS is not quite high yet, but it is doing a pretty good job. Kelra might Kelra. be able to clean this up but go away. And that is gonna be two for down. Omega. Back. Wow, what a rotation by Kelra. Uh, Brand new sports. Don't think they saw that coming, that he would rotate all the way from the gold lane, but he gave up so much. Seems like that was the trade. Uh, Kelra probably thinking that, okay, maybe we can get more kills there, but already the gold shielding from the top lane turret has been maximized by Super Marco. So Omega will have to change their rotations more geared towards the top side. Brand new sports can face that. But Brent Esports can also just rotate bottom side as well and force Renju out of lane. Yeah, right now, Keller needs to have a good buy and sell capability on how he manages to sacrifice the lane or even go to the team fights. Because one thing that Brent also utilizes is their movement speed and how they rotate faster around the map. Because one thing also that they need is also items that you mentioned. Yeah, ma maximize those items because right now it's a race, right? Yeah. It's a race between who can get there first. It's Keller or Super Marco because they're basically the battering rams of their teams right now, even Ryzen, doesn't really do that much damage after the endless shards. Yeah, and I think for Brent Esports, the thing they're looking out for is when Ryzen uses his endless shards. But they found Jacto yet again. Oh, oh beautiful open. pick up. There's the cult altar popped up. Keep everyone in Omega alive. And that real world manipulation damage is actually quite good from Few, despite the early stage of the game here. Yeah, uh, picking up the Impure Rage. No, he won't need to go back to a base as often as he needs to. He'll always have that mana as long as he's in minions. And now Brand New Sports will get the first big lead in the game by destroying the turret here of Kelra. Oh, spoke too soon. Yeah. Still stands. No, it's still... Surprisingly enough, I thought Brand New Sports would that force been, that. Yeah. That could have been a really fast takeout there. Yeah. But again, the threat of Omega being around the area just slowed down Brand New Sports. They spot out Ryzen. He's not invisible yet. So they know that everyone's roaring, roaring towards that turtle pit. Yeah, because right now, Omega, they're trying to secure, like, the threat that they can get from Brian Esports. And one thing to do that is holding the tower top on top lane just to secure one against uh, Super Marco. Because now it's the second turtle. Oh, Brian Esports pulls the objective, and now that's a reset. Hey, look, no, no, actually, no, no, not yet. It's they not yet. It. 
They hold it right now. Ogwin's in the middle. Renzio in the holding back. It. And look at this. Okay. Ryzen still has his endless shards. Yep. He can't get close still enough. He has endless shards, but will not be able to get that distance covered. Ogwen again. He's friending over and over again. And there's a perfect match to get out of the pit. Just how they manage. Kyle Teasy just put on a leash on the turtle. The sheer threat of an Atlas standing right in front of you. Credits to Ogwen for not pulling the trigger and anything there. He just he played that patiently. Uh, Chaknu as well could have forced a Numenon Blast, but didn't, knowing that him casting a Numenon Blast that close to an Atlas... That's, that's problematic. <laughs> yeah, no. that's a signal for Ogwen to go, all right, I'm going to use my ultimate too. So, Again. and now the, I'll get it off first before you do. Ogwen's not even using the old OSX. No, no. He's just being in the middle and yeah. threatening to use it. <laughs> They're like, right there. Oh, oh, he can use it here. <laughs> see? I don't. He doesn't. He's, 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 he's everywhere. <laughs> Ogwen and you, Chaknu. You want to do something? Yeah. I have my yeah. ultimate. No, he can't even get close that. enough. It's like it's like me and you guys on something like if you want to eat this or not. What yeah, are we talking basically. about? Yeah. If just if we're in a buffet and there's one piece of it's happened before. Of spring oh. roll. Right? It, it's the typical Filipino thing of no one wanting to grab the last bite. Yeah. We're all too shy. It's like, hey, come on, you go, go grab the last bite. No, no, you okay, get I, no it. I'm full. Like, I'm, you you get it, yeah. yeah. No, yeah. no, no, I'm full. Yeah, yeah. Th that's what's happening right now in the two rollers of Omega. Yeah, mid lane right now looks super full though. Very clogged there. Oh, uh -huh. he gets a pull. There's oh. a flicker in Force again. Flicker. That's a lot of flickers being used there. Full. Oh, they gotta run. That, yeah, they gotta run. That cold altar uh -oh. is used defensively. That's not a good sign. And there's the one man he fatal kicks straight into Etomax's face. Oh my goodness, I bet Etomax wants to just kick Ogwen right now. Yeah. <laughs> Come on, dude. Let me play him on yeah. the Legends, bang, bang. I just want to get one. Just one play. <laughs> Jeez Louise. Oh, man. Ogwen, uh, two games now. He's been massive. Two games, right? Oh, man. Uh, yeah. That Atlas pickup. Netomax is a big guy. Yeah. <laughs> And then right now, it's literally just like... <laughs> Ogun looks like he's waiting for Omega to use key abilities. The moment Brent Esports saw Omega have used so much, you're just yeah. like, okay, yeah, we're gonna chase we're you. Gonna chase you straight in your face. And if uh, if an Atlas has a flicker... By the way, Ogun didn't even need to commit flicker that last time. Exactly. He has it here. Whoa, it's pull. just perfect match. Whoa. And there's Super Marco with the Blazing Duet. Chaktu so low. BMI back straight into the turtle pit. And again, a fight on the lower right. Ogwen makes it out, and it's gonna be the punish straight into Renzio. Oh my goodness. But the trade on top side is at least Kelver gets some gold. Ooh. But on the bottom side of the map, it is disaster for Omega. Renny Sports playing Omega incredibly well right now. Ryzen takes a lot of damage. Oh, it's a 1v3. Look at Cal TZ. He is in trouble. Uh -oh. And Lashard cleans it out. But here we go again. It's Ogwen. Doesn't even use the Fatal Links. He just goes in with a frigid breath. Yeah. And Etomax will fall once more. View with a zone out to Kelra. He did even manage to land something to protect Etomax. This is one thing they're trying to solve. The problem of Brent Esports is giving so much stone to the road. Yeah, I don't think it was a tight. It was an iceberg that the Titanic hit. I think it was Ogwen's Atlas that they hit. Yeah, in, in the lore, I, I believe Atlas is bigger than anyone. Yeah, I think so he's too. huge. And that's another huge play he's by Ogwen. Gigantic. And Ogwen, again, no flicker, no anything, gets an easy assist right there. He's the tempo breaker right now. Omega can't get the zone in the position that they want. But what Omega is getting, though, is gold. Despite the Brand Esports breakthroughs that they've been getting, Omega have kept it relatively close. Yeah. Kelra already forced to pick the Wind of Nature as the second item after the Wind Talker. So it looks like he'll be building the Scarlet Phantom uh, maybe next. Let's see if uh, he'll full build that or if he'll go for the Demon Hunter Sword, considering that there's a lot of tanky members of Brand Esports he has to go up against. I'm talking about Ogwen and Pandora specific specifically. Yeah, yeah. Kelra's build right now. You do this if you really need to farm. Yeah. yeah. And the the, my, the going through uh, of what Omega is going through right now, their total mindset is to get into that short defense because on how Brand Esports has uh, Pandora and Ogwen, you need to get that gap. You need to get the defense once you're the target. Oh man, it's gonna be another tough contest here for Omega. Uh, they can make a play, considering that they have the Cult Altar, but if they get punished here, if they lose this fight, it's gonna be massive. Yeah. yeah. Super Marco oh. is here, real world manipulation. Chaknu is low, and he will be able to make it out, at least for now. Super Marco, though, very confident. Oh, wow. With Chaknu's still alive. He is still alive. Renzo, he drops in straight in the fuse face. He takes out Itamax. 
chases on. Oh. Renzio spots him out. Oh. We'll take down the Capitan. But at the back. But at the back. Just made a run for it. And I think this should be a very easy lord for Gren Esports. How do they manage to seal all the corners here for Omega? Just no space for Keller here to attack. But look at oh. that, Pandora. Oh! oh my gosh! A freezer scrap! Oh! How? Oh! How? Oh! Oh! oh my goodness! My eyes! Pandora the Explorer has found it again! Finally, we see it like a really big finishing a Fraser's rap. It's been a, it's, we've been looking for it for a long time. Wow. Oh. It finally happened. It's such a difficult skill to activate, to be honest. Oh Are we God. getting a replay? We need a replay of that. That was picture perfect. Oh, it's Ogwen who I call Master Blaster, but right now it was Pandora with a Master Blaster play. Beautiful. Blasting Keldra with a massive appraiser's wrath. Pandora that the Explorer found it again. That's like, that's so anime-like, right? A big swing of a sword straight yeah. into the most important member of Omega. Yeah, it's like, it's, oh. it's the meme you hear. Oh my god, oh. Shinderu. <laughs> right now, we're just totally amazed oh. at how Pandora landed. It's so difficult because there's a cast the time. sword, yeah. Oh, man. Talking about mastery on the display here at Ren Esports. This is gross! Sorry, guys. I, we know it's just one skill, but it's just... It's so difficult. We haven't seen it yet. That yeah. was 60% <laughs> of Kelra's health deleted in Boom. one swing. Oh, man. Beautiful okay, right no. now. The push is happening for Brand Esports. All lanes are pushing in. Super Marco takes Whoa. out the inhibitor on Renzo. top. And the fight is happening with Renzio. Cold Alter catches him, but just at the very end. Here comes the Luminol Blast. Will not hit Brent Sports. Now it's an open window for them to take it to the mid lane. Last mid lane turn of Omega. Will they barge through the house or right now of the Barangay? Big problems here. The ship is sinking. What will Capitan Etomats do? Shock New is in front, but there is very, very little room to wiggle here for Omega. Oh, there's a lot of wiggling move going on right now, but Brandy Sports are helping at the end of the game right Chaknu. now. Chaknu gets taken out. Didn't even need the Fatal Links, and I think that should be it. Just how dominating Brand Esports is on two games, on to Barangay. A clean execution, ladies and gentlemen, and plus a Frederick move. That was... Talking about day one of this four days of battle until Monday. Happy, happy Friday, ladies and gents, here in MPL Philippine Season 8, Week 8.